everyone so this is the intro but really it's day two of cleaning up my pantry um, I got a couple of jars from the dollar store at first I wasn't really sure how many or what exactly I was looking for Watch my wall. so I was saying I bought a couple of jars and put a few things into them currently we just have a lot more dry stuff of course like everyone else since um, quarantine has started we've accumulated quite a bit of dry goods and canned goods so maneuvering how they fit in this kitchen is really difficult because our kitchen is so small these are the only cupboards that we have I have two cupboards to put dishes and groceries so Right now, this is kind of like, I want to say part one. This is just how I'm organizing my pantry in quarantine with the little money that I have at the dollar store. I was going to place a big Ikea purchase and then when I got to like, when I got to the checkout, it was like half the things were sold out and then shipping was like $50, so no thank you. And then I went to the dollar store the second time and they had the cutest containers literally the same ones they have at Ikea and slightly smaller which is kind of what I needed so this is perfect so this is just how I'm organizing all the dry stuff and canned goods and I'll kind of show you around I'll show you the before and afters hopefully the afters are cute um, and then future we are looking to purchase a baker's rack I'm looking to get one over here in place of this kitchen cart because for my partner when he lived on his own it's a great cart lots of good storage but now that we live together we have more things just like accumulate more stuff more dishes etc um, and like the more that I'm home the more I want to do like baking and everything so all the gadgets we have need to go somewhere I'm looking into buying one of those I just don't know what one I want to dive in on yet um, I will show you I'll put the one that I kind of want there and I'll show you and it fits perfectly. And we're gonna get a little cart for here. And then this is another annoying spot because it has to be max like 20 inches wide because the fridge won't be able to open. And then there's the door. And we need somewhere to put our microwave and just hide our snacks and stuff. So this is a bit of a work in progress video. I mentioned before we're like kind of going to redo the house a little bit here and there so I will definitely update you on the things that we change in here but for now this video is just how I'm organizing my pantry via the dollar store because it's cheap and cheerful and they actually have the cutest things right now so it's a win so let's get started ramble city so we have like tea, coffee, hot chocolate. This is canned goods and like peanut butter and stuff right now. Um, soup stock and like extra rice at the moment. It's going to go into a container and then up there is all the baking stuff. I'm really trying to figure out the right rhythm and like where things should go. Uh, we will see. It's hard to like, we always try to have, oh dinner is unthawing. We always try to have like a breakfast nook type thing here, like the coffee press and this is just tea we just got um, but it would go normally in there and then Tyler has another type of tea in another jar back there that fiber life you know every morning um, and then up here is where I want to put more of the jars this cupboards back there is like party stuff like paper plates and stuff and like water bottles and just random junk the one thing I need to figure out in this freaking kitchen is where to put all of this Tupperware. It drives me completely mad. It's very annoying. And then we'll have like the rest of our pots and pans up here. This is fine. It is what it is. Um, and then the baker's rack will probably have all of this stuff plus maybe some more jars. I don't know. It's going to be, again, a work in progress. And then over here currently are some of the jars. Cooking spices and oils what not these I just bought for fun because they're flipping adorable and like 
the dollar store, are you kidding? These I think were two dollars, can't go wrong, or maybe even a dollar twenty-five. So cute. I was gonna order these at Ikea, but they also I think sold out. Um, but they're just like little spice jars and they're literally the exact same ones. Like they lean on the side here or they can go straight up. Yeah, so we're planning over here. We have one spice rack there, but we want to get another one and do all the spices there. And then hopefully when we get the baker's rack, there's shelving at the top, do more spices that are easily reachable. Because we have so many and they're currently sitting in a bag right here in this giant orange bag. They're just chilling. Because we like to have flavor flavor in our life, so we have a lot of spice, but nowhere to put them. So I'm going to put some of them in here. I only bought two three packs because I just wanted to see how they were, if we liked them, how big they are, if they fit. Good lord, my camera doesn't want to focus lately. Then I got these baskets and then a small one, which is like a sage green, which kind of matches my sweater in the kitchen. And then Tyler's parents actually um, gave us like a care kit, like a, a bread and some marmalade and that tea that I just showed you in this adorable bin. It was like very Irish themed. Um, and it's exactly the same bins that I just bought. So perfect, thanks. Parentals, we're gonna put this to use in our kitchen. And then the big one goes for $3. Bought a cookie jar, which was $4. I don't know about you, but when I was growing up, I always wanted like an actual cookie jar, just like a see-through glass cookie jar. I thought they were so cute. And then these little guys, which I will place the prices down below because I wrote them down and I just don't remember right now. So there's this like tall one and this shorter one, which is like fatter. And I got two of each of those and then just one of these little ones just because I wasn't sure if I was going to need it. But I thought if I don't use it in the kitchen, I could use it in the bathroom for like Q-tips or makeup browns or whatever. So cute. Bamboo lid. Dollar store, are you joking? And then I got one more of these, which is $2 with the stainless steel top because I'm going to put my sourdough starter in here so it has more room to grow. It can be bigger. So that's why I bought that bad boy. Yeah, I will put the end total as to how much I spent at the dollar store. Um, I will total that all up. I'll add all the jars together because I wrote down the prices. I just don't remember right now because I ripped them all off the bottoms. But yeah, I will... Write down the total so that you can see how doable it is, even if you are on CERB and you're not being paid right now. <laughs> I'm being paid by the government to live and function. So yeah, that's what we're going to do, folks. I'm going to take a whole bunch of stuff out of the cupboard and just start cleaning and deciding where I want to put things. And yeah, it'll probably be like a little fast forward type deal. And then I'll come back and chat in a little bit. So I mentioned this was day two, so I'm just going to show a clip of all the things that I bought previously and what I filled them with. I don't know if I talked through that. If not, maybe I'll do like a little overdub. But yeah, this is day two of doing this. <laughs> so I'm just going to take everything out of the cupboards and try and figure out what I want to do next. I mentioned in this area was like honey and like peanut butter kind of like a breakfast tea coffee tea station um, and then I'm just gonna use this basket and I put all of the tea stuff in here so these are all loose like tea bags that come in packages and I'm gonna eventually get something to put them in they had like these long rectangular kind of slots at the dollar store and all the other tea that's kind of like loose that can't really leave its container and then extra tea bags for loose tea so this is like tea that we don't drink as often and then the tea that we do use every day is on the counter ready to go Two months ago the beginning of the freaking pandemic because everyone was like buy canned goods ah, we're gonna die and I was like shit okay we need to get some stuff and 
They didn't even have small cans of stuff at that point in time. So we bought two of these massive containers of ravioli. And if they don't get eaten, they will definitely go to someone who will use them. Um, but we generally just don't eat this all the time. We try not to. But it's a great item to donate to your local food bank. So once they tell us that it's cool to leave the house and you also feel like you have way too many canned goods and um, rice and things like that, then I would highly suggest donating to your local food bank like we will be doing. We also bought a bunch of these sidekicks pastas, which we really do not eat. Um, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm just putting them in this container with like gravy packs and onion soup. This is great with like sour cream as a dip. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with this rack now. Changed it up a little. Hopefully this view is a little bit better. And the sun is setting, so. Sex and sitting in the background. We're in a mood. coming. I also bought that through Alex. She is my home queen. Um, and that I bought on Amazon and it says it's probably not going to come for like three weeks. So I'm just going to have to remember what I'm putting in jars, which shouldn't be hard. <laughs> couscous into a jar as well but I bought this specifically for my sourdough starter but I guess I could just go get one tomorrow the dollar store hey, yeah, yeah. I hate when you don't buy enough stuff at first when I was putting all these things in jars I was kind of an idiot and like didn't write down you know, I don't know, what do I have, like oatmeal? I didn't write down like how much per how much water, <laughs> but you could Google it, no problem. But like other things, like couscous, I don't really make a lot, but I'm going to take a picture of the back. And then after I'll write like a little label and put it on the bottom, you can write like the expiration date um, nutrition facts if you need to know, like if you wanna know how many calories, say you like count calories. These are our favorite cookies. If you live in Canada, you know that these are the shit. Not only supposed to eat chocolate, but I sneak it in here and there. And then I love these maple cookies. Also a Canadian treat. I think I'm gonna go like Chloe Kardashian on this and like line them up. I don't know. Oh, it's wet. Oh god. What the hell? our bag of spices. <laughs> it's a little, a little wild, but what can you say? We love a flavor flavor. You know what? I'm going to put cinnamon sticks in this tiny one because we love cinnamon. Cute. Wow. I am not good at this. Okay. Oh my god, why am I like the actual worst at this? <sighs> oh, 
Layla, get your freaking life together. Oh my god. It's gotta be a better way. Gravy, my friends, good gravy. Do you see that? That? Really good job. Oh, that's good. Perfect. What is happening today? Oh my god! a few more of these because there's things like chili powder, paprika, curry powder, cinnamon, all those things that need to go in here. But we also need to get a spice rack of sorts. So yeah, I'm going to put these up and see how it looks. This is where I'm going to leave it off today. I have done some of the spices. I need to get at least two more of those um, three packs. Once I go get the rest of the things from the dollar store, tomorrow probably, and then I'll film the rest. And then we'll touch base on where we got so far with the dollar store update, pantry update. I don't know what I'm going to call this yet. <laughs> Stay tuned. See you tomorrow. So this is the fourth time I've gone to the flipping dollar store in a week, but I think I'm done right now because <laughs> I can't do that anymore. Um, they didn't have what I wanted, so instead I had to get this flip top, lock top, drop top. The dollar store keeps getting me with their dishes. Like I can't, I can't stop myself. These little bowls are only a dollar twenty-five. Look at how cute! Pfft. How do you pass this up? A dollar twenty-five. Oh. And this giant serving bowl, which I just think is so nice, like four dollars. Of course, I'm gonna get it. It's kind of nice that I can get dishes from Dollar Store because I'm like a mega klutz. So if I dropped this and broke it, I would be peeved. But I'd be okay with it because I didn't spend like fifty dollars at like pottery barn or something, you know? spices in another one of these so that you don't have to have them in a bag anymore. Okay, so far it's looking very good. I'm very happy with it. I have baskets up here that are filled with like extra rice or what else is in there? Ugh. This is like rice and noodles and stuff that won't go into containers. And then this is all baking stuff. And then leftover spices and like backups, kind of like backstock, can go up the top. 
So here's like olive oil, a bunch of salts. We have like so many different types of salt and some random things that I don't really know where to go, extra olive oil. And then here is canned goods, like craft dinner, because you gotta have a sneaky little craft dinner sometimes. So up here is like some popcorn seasoning, extra cans, KD, some tuna. It's a bunch of broth, pre-made store-bought broth, just because that's so easy. And then this is like packs of gravy and that kind of stuff, and some of those sidekicks that I mentioned earlier. And then this is more soup, package soup here, and then some canned soup and beans because that makes sense. This is like when you're cooking like chickpeas, corn, all that kind of stuff. And then here is more like lunchy, easy meal stuff. And then I'm going to put the packs of tea, like it's a store. Slide that in there. So that's how it's looking at the moment. It's looking pretty good. And then up here are jars of like sugar, brown sugar, cheese seeds, and there's cornmeal up there because we just randomly had it. This is a total mess right now. This is a mess, but I was taping out and even on to here how far it will come out. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can. This is kind of the measurements of that baker's rack that I want to get. I'll insert a picture again here. And then here I've measured out the Ikea spice racks and they will carry at least six. Six of these bad boys on there so that's perfect because I have a bunch. <laughs> and there's enough area because this is tile you have to like drill into the in-between of the tiles. There's enough space to have three racks so that would be good. That's where I'm gonna leave you on this little dollar store pantry makeover. I can't really do too much else until again I get that baker's rack thingy that I want to put back there. And that's about it. Um, there's just nowhere else to put anything. So that's that. Um, I will link everything that is my neighbors being so loud. Station station time around here. Sorry, the lighting's not gonna be ideal. If there's anything that I can link, which I think there is, I think most things are pretty much similar to what you're gonna get at Ikea. And kind of the same price, to be honest. Most things were like three, three dollars, four dollars max. Most things were like three to four dollars max at the dollar store, which was pretty much kind of the same price that I saw at Ikea. Again, the reason I didn't order from Ikea was because the shipping cost was just not gonna happen for me, especially on a budget, and I'm walking distance to a dollar store, so no shipping or any sort of labor cost at all really happening. Actually, the first person that made me wanna do this video was Zoe Sugg. Sure, you follow her, she is like uber YouTube famous. Um, I will link her video right here as well. Her video is so dreamy because her house is like stunning. 
Zoe posted her video like two or three weeks ago I think and that kind of shook me to want to keep doing mine. I had been thinking about doing my pantry for a really long time but I kept getting overwhelmed because the space just I don't feel like I have enough sort of like space to put things but we made it work with what uh, we have here and as soon as I get that baker's rack and we kind of update the kitchen I will come back on here and give you an update video so stay tuned for a part duh of this little series. Thank you for watching. I hope that this video inspires you. I know that everyone is like overhauling their freaking pantries right now, but what else do you do? And this is hella budget, so you could totally do it at home yourself, especially if you live near a dollar store, which they seem to be popping up like hotcakes lately. Well, I forgot what I was saying. Don't forget to subscribe down below, like the video if you liked it, and I will catch y'all on the next one. Bye!